Well, folks, believe it or not, I've been doing this show now for six years. It is honestly hard to believe. And I'm really proud with the product that I've been putting out. I'm proud of the show and how far it's come. If you go back and watch like the first couple of episodes of The Humanist Report, they were really, really rough. I mean, the camera quality was terrible. The audio quality was just almost unbearable to listen to. And now we've come so far. We have a brand new studio, all crowdfunded. We've upgraded the equipment. And for the most part, over this past few years, I haven't changed much about this show. I mean, from time to time, I'll do certain things, but the actual format fundamentally has remained the same. And I'm not gonna change that right now. It's working, so we're gonna keep doing the Humanist Report as it is. Having said that though, I have to admit, I am getting a little bit bored just doing the same thing. Just doing news and politics in the same way for six years now, it gets a little bit draining and I, I wanna be able to explore my own creativity. So I've been doing some new things and I have a couple of exciting announcements. So first of all, you've probably noticed by now, I have a Twitch channel. We're trying to build up our Twitch channel, so please go over there and follow us at twitch.tv slash humanistreport. I am live every single Thursday at 7 p.m. PST and on Saturday, you can find clips from that stream on the YouTube channel. Now. I am going to try to stream more on Twitch, but that's kind of further down the pipeline. But for now, one thing that I've been kind of trying to test is whether or not politics and gaming meshes well together. And I kind of tried this out. You've been seeing a little bit of, in, of uh, experimentation, we'll call it, where I'll post like a video of my Twitch clip. And then the first half is gonna be some politics, lighthearted discussion about politicians and whatnot. And then the second half will be basically just me playing a video game. To me, it doesn't really mesh well. Like, I, it feels weird. Like, you don't wanna shit where you eat. You wanna to try to keep these two things separate. At least that's the way that I feel. So, with that in mind, I've decided to launch a second YouTube channel. It's just called, simply, Mike Figueredo. And this is just, Shit posting. It's uh, my uh, clips from Twitch of me playing video games. If I want to talk about some random thing like an anime or a video game or a movie that I watched, I'll just post it there. I don't plan on monetizing this channel, so it's all just fun and games. I don't plan on posting very frequently, so if you're expecting like daily uploads, that's not going to happen. This is just extra and to where I can kind of share my personal hobbies, video games, additional Twitch clips. All of that. Now, on top of that, I do have something that isn't necessarily the biggest announcement in the world, but I've been working on this project for a very long time and I'm ready to announce it now. I think the time has come. And basically why I created this is because first of all, the number one critique that I get oftentimes is that I don't do enough live streams and you'd be correct about that. Although Twitch is the exception, but here on YouTube, I think I stream maybe like once per year. So I'm gonna change that. Another thing that I wanna correct is this lack of cross-pollination that we see among leftist creators. When you look at Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, they all go on each other's shows and we don't necessarily talk to each other that frequently here on the left. And um, I wanna change that. So having said that, I am now very pleased to bring you my big announcement. Dystopian Times. What is Dystopian Times, you ask? Well, Dystopian Times is a new weekly live show that premieres on June 23rd and takes place every single Wednesday. I'll bring on entertaining guests, we'll talk about the news, and sometimes we'll react to funny right-wing videos. Basically, it is our way of coping with the dystopian late-stage capitalist society that we live in. Call it dystopia copium if you want to but this will be premiering very soon i am incredibly excited about this so uh here's your sneak peek right now coming soon you'll know about the guests that i'll be bringing on for episode one enjoy for centuries capitalists ruled the world they crafted a dystopian hellscape and commodified everything life democracy even the planet Facing extinction, a rebel group emerged to challenge the capitalists. The online left, a group of deviants, zoomers, and millennial misfits devoted to shitposting their way to a better world, one tweet at a time. Will they put aside their hatred of one another to defeat their capitalist common enemy? Find out now on Dystopian Times. When is 
destruction of everything that you know. While others chase the elite, we stand alone. Dark days coming, we garnish, we never run it. People still suffering, and everybody's wondering who's gonna lead the charge, who's gonna be the choice. Rooted from the bottom so the underdog can have a voice. Foundation based in reality. Power to the people, people power, not a fallacy. Call it what you wanted, but I know you hear us coming. Eyes wide open, cause you see we're on to something. The future on the line, we're here to redefine. Political powers recognize these dystopian times.